The Ravens have officially offered Odell Beckham Jr. a contract, uh, allegedly. Okay. Okay? This is allegedly via the internet. Schefter. The, okay, so Schefter says that the Ravens and Lamar Jackson, or Odell Beckham Jr., even without Lamar Jackson's situation being handled, have met, talked, and they have made him an offer. Here's Schefter yesterday, I believe, on NFL Live, 4 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. The Baltimore Ravens have met with Odell Beckham Jr. They presented him their own offer. We'll see which Odell Beckham Jr. finds more interesting, but it certainly sounds like it's the Jets, it's the Ravens, maybe the Rams still would have an interest, but those at this point in time would be the obvious landing spots for Odell Beckham Jr. in what has been one of the longest free agent recruitments that we've ever seen. Shout out to Shefty and the NFL Live crew over there. I assume we'll get a strike for that as well as the mm -hmm. NCAA guy putting his chin on Jim Nance's shoulder last <laughs> night that we had to show. That's right. Odell Beckham Jr. going to the Ravens would be an interesting turn to this entire Lamar Jackson Baltimore Ravens story. Now, he says that they made an offer. He has not agreed to it, so nothing is set in stone. I would assume Odell Beckham Jr. would like to know who his quarterback is going to be before he makes a decision to return to the NFL because the last time we saw him play, he was fucking great. Not yeah. just Balling. Not just good, he was great. Long time ago, obviously, like 14, 15 months, whatever it is, he seems to be completely healthy. We saw Prince of Makamura's video from his workout in Arizona. He looked great, snagged yeah. the ball. A team is going to want him and be lucky to have him. They were initially reporting that he wanted $20 million, then he wanted $15 million. He said, I just wasn't going to take $3 million. So we don't know what the actual number is, but Baltimore being in the game is fascinating. Kind of changes the convo there with Lamar and the Ravens. Does it or no? What do you think here, Pac? Um... I don't think that changed Lamar business. Lamar business is Lamar business. I don't think Odell make a decision until Lamar figures out what he's going to do. Or I don't know, man, because you got to make these decisions quick. Odell need to be somewhere where he could be in OTAs, getting rhythm, um, getting pushed around, coming off the surgery. <sighs> I still like Jets for, for OBJ. Yeah, I think, I I think like OBJ him. likes the Jets as well. And I think, um, you know, Aaron Rodgers, who is – Currently, the Green Bay Packers quarterback. That's yep. right. <laughs> and has been for a long time. Mm -hmm. Pete Schrager floated out what a potential deal could look like. And remember, Schrager's pretty tight with the New York Jets operation. His return to Good Morning Football has been good for all of us. Congrats on a kid, Schrager. Yeah, Schrager. I think he said, uh, I, think he, I think the tweet that I read was, Jets or Packers fans, would you be happy with a, a second rounder and a fourth rounder, I believe? Conditional second next year. And yeah. a conditional mm -hmm. second next year for Aaron Rodgers. So I think that is maybe, Schrager has good sources. Yes. Schrager has very good sources. That feels like that might be in the ballpark. But let's assume that deal gets done. Packers fans are pissed with the compensation they you know have to admit that they didn't have any leverage which is what i got murdered for and there's move on to jordan love who we hope is fucking great but aaron Rodgers said who wouldn't want to play with odell beckham mm -hmm. jr and i think in the past aaron has told us previous seasons he's tight with odell beckham jr they know each other very well they're appreciative of each other and if you're odell aaron uh, the jets seem to be going all in to try to win big time that's what odell beckham wants to be a part of are the ravens doing the same uh i don't know are the rams doing the same definitely not uh, i don't know the jets do feel like the best home for odell beckham jr but it's all going to be about the offer and the money and who offers what? Yeah, yeah, it seemed like it's been the Jets or bust from the get-go. He wants to play with Rodgers, I think. Rodgers wants to play with him. Not that he wouldn't play with Lamar, but he also loves New York. He loves, like, the big city. You know, he's comfortable there. And I think deep down, like, Odell, more than anything, like, yeah, he wants to get paid, but he wants to win. And I think you look at the Jets, what they've put together whenever this Rodgers thing goes through and they get him, like, I still think they give you a better chance to win a Super Bowl than – the Ravens do, even with Lamar at quarterback. Yeah. And Odell Beckham Jr. allegedly offered a contract by the Baltimore Ravens. They do not have everything figured out with Lamar Jackson just yet, AJ. But Ian Rapport said yesterday there's a chance they get a deal done still. Ravens and Lamar, even though the letter to the fans from Lamar Jackson sounded like that conversation is probably sailed. That ship is gone. What are your thoughts on OBJ getting offered an opportunity to go play for the Ravens? And also the Ravens may be investing in a weapon. That sounds like a big deal. First time ever. Yeah, if they did offer him a contract, I'm sure it feels good for Odell to get something on paper that he can look at. But also, I would assume he instantly is in contact with Lamar saying, hey, man, what's the deal? Like, There's no chance I'm even going to talk to these guys further probably if I don't know if you're coming back or not. So listen to what the Ravens allegedly have tried to do. They make an offer to Odell Beckham Jr. 
Allegedly. Via yep. Schefter. Yeah. Schefter fucking knows everybody. Let's assume that Schefter's right. Setting on NFL Live. That's our NFL show. A lot of people from the NFL mm-hmm. watching that show wanting everybody to know that they did that. They also tried to get Darius Slay. Did you hear about this? Mm-hmm. Darius Slay has confirmed a report that he was this close to end up with the Ravens. Ultimately, in the end, the Eagles didn't want him to leave their building or trade him, so they get an extension done to pay Darius Slay again. He remains in the back of a very stacked Philadelphia Eagles defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's him addressing and the Ravens uh, rumors and you know shout out to Ravens fans learning a lot about what their team's at least trying to do to build up some weaponry in a squad around Lamar if they're able to get Lamar back this close oh a Baltimore Raven I was this close <laughs> this close but you know I wanted to be Eagle I stayed an Eagle because I know me and Howard's gonna figure something out but the Baltimore Ravens was the first team that called and they they offered just what I wanted and I just said, hey, the Eagles do that, I'm going to stay an Eagle. So it was it was nice now, man. I almost, I almost was a Raven. I was almost a different bird. Okay, <laughs> so almost a different bird for mm-hmm. big play Slay yeah. there. Love that he has a neon light over the left shoulder. And also his setup, it sounds spectacular. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out to Darius Slay. This feels like the Ravens story now, if we go back. T.Y. Hilton, former Colt. Uh, he played for the Cowboys this past season. Before he signed with the Colts two years ago, he said, ah, it's the Ravens. We're, we're almost the Ravens. I think Juju Smith-Schuster, yep. yeah. before he signed with the Chiefs, ah, almost the Ravens. And then now you're hearing Darius Slay, big play Slay. Uh, almost the Ravens. And then Odell Beckham Jr. here, whenever he signs somewhere, if it's not the Ravens, we'll probably say almost the Ravens. Uh-huh. It is a, it's almost like, uh, I think Harbaugh's probably saying that to Lamar, you know, like, hey, we are trying our absolute best for one reason or another. Is it business they're not able to get figured <laughs> out? And does that mean that there's zero chance that they figure out to Lamar Jackson? Or is it the situation as a whole over there? I think that's what we're all asking ourselves now. Yeah, and who, uh, I guess, who is holding things up? What is the problem there? And it, with Slay, would if they had already extended Lamar and it looked like he was going to be back, would Slay have jumped on that offer right away? It possibly. I'm sure he looked at it a little, a little harder. Same thing with Lamar Odell. Yeah. Was set. yeah. Now with Odell, too, that's what I'm saying. Like, nothing. Why would a receiver sign there right now with the Lamar in limbo? We don't know what's happening. Slay's still a guy in the back end. He's a dog. Yeah. Yes, he done played unbelievable. Last year, he was one of the top 10 corners. He was in my top 10. But I'm tired of this almost shit. We keep hearing almost, almost. Get Lamar fucking done, bro. That's what we want to hear about the Ravens. <laughs> we want you to take care of Lamar first. We don't care if you sign OBJ. That is not even a fucking topic right now. Oh, we want to sign OBJ and... We want to know what you want to do with Lamar. I think Lamar is the thing that has to get figured out. Yes. But is this all the Ravens trying to prove to Lamar that they're trying to become a team that could potentially go on a run? Because with the lack of weapons and everything they got going on over there, it has been strictly the Lamar Jackson show. 